but I'm happy to join UK and I'm happy to be here with Rob, the best tight end in the history of the NFL, Gronkowski. That's his new name. Yes, and Rob Ninkovich is the most underrated DN or outside linebacker in Patriot history. Let me tell you, I was actually working out with Frank Gore about a month ago. I worked out on two days in a row. He he looked at me, he goes, who was that? Who was that white boy number 50 that played for you guys on the defensive side? I was like, Ninkovich, he goes, that dude's an underrated dog. He goes, that dude can Thank play. You. And I go, I go, I agree with you 100%. He may not have gotten the credit that he deserved the whole time he was in uh, New England, but let me tell you, Ninkovich, I had to block you my whole career, basically. And let me tell you, you are a dog. You are underrated. You never got the credit you deserve, but I'm giving you the credit now. How many sacks did you have as a Patriot? <laughs> no one even talks about that, like 55, right? Yeah, I would have had 51, but... Um... You know, we had a couple holding calls, so I think I'm, I'm around 48, which that's a pretty solid number. Um, but, Rob, I, I appreciate this. I appreciate Thank the you. compliment. One time, Rob actually looked at me, and he said, you know what? For what you look like, you're a freak. And I was like, hmm, I wonder, is that that's like a double-sided compliment? Like, on one side, yeah, you kind of look like an electrician or a plumber, but you're like a freak athlete. So I took it as a compliment. But, Rob, I really appreciate um, you uplifting me. And I had a great career. Me and you did bash heads for many, many years. And um, I'm happy that I made you what you are. And that's a Hall of Fame tight end. So I'll take you the did. praise. I agree 100%. <laughs> Rob Ninkovich made me who I am. It wasn't the coaches. It wasn't Tom Brady. It was Rob Ninkovich. Without him, he came after me every single day in practice, especially throughout training camp, my second year in the league. And then what? I had 18 touchdowns that year. Every day yeah. we'd be smacking heads together, which is why we sometimes say we should have never done that because sometimes our head hurts. Yep. Still to this yep. day, when we and, look at each other, and sometimes we can't really put sentences together because of how many times we well, smash I, our head. I'm, I'm really good at mathematics, and I can, you know, I'm great at English. I love history, um, so I'm still good in that aspect of life. But the one thing that I would say that we also did was we were very conservative when it came to water. And if there was a hot tub, maybe I made a hot tub, oh, and gosh. it was it was there by myself, and I had to make sure that we weren't <laughs> wasting water. Rob would jump in too, and we would just make sure that we were ready to go for practice. And you know, it's fine because as teammates, you are number one trying to build that camaraderie <laughs> and get ready to go out there and have a great practice. Which me and Rob all the time, great practices, even though we were brother-in-law sometimes. But that's fine. You could do that. Bill would always make fun. Bill would actually look at us and say. Psh what is this a pillow fight you know we, me and Robert, <laughs> That's good. Wink, you know thanks for watching subscribe here to get the latest up and adam's content right on youtube